This presentation is on chilling injury. By definition, chilling injury is a low temperature stress that occurs in the absence of freezing. Chilling primarily occurs on warm season turf grasses in the tropical and subtropical regions of the world. Chilling injury occurs during the fall of the season or really in the late fall and early winter. Chilling can occur when temperatures drop below 54 degrees. An additional factor besides temperature is light intensity. Injury is greatest when cool temperatures are combined with high light intensities, or in other words, on sunny days. Under ideal conditions, the symptoms are striking. On this Bermuda grass turf, chilling injury results in a bleached out leaf blades with an overall camouflage appearance. These symptoms can appear within 24 to 48 hours after the chilling period. In this case, the temperatures were in the mid to low 30s or single digits in centigrade under clear sunny conditions. In the United States, chilling injury can occur from the southeastern United States through the southwest. This picture of rapid chilling occurred to this Bermuda grass turf in Southern California. Given Bermuda grass adaptation and other warm season turf grasses, injury is not limited to the United States. This is chilling injury on an athletic field in Australia. Chilling injury disrupts physiological processes of the plant. In warm season turf grasses, the conversion of starch to sugar is disrupted as well as a reduction in the carbon dioxide exchange rate. Consequently, net photosynthesis is reduced in injured turf grass plants. Cool temperatures and high light intensities also cause the degradation and destruction of chlorophyll in turf shoots. The destruction of chlorophyll contributes to the bleached out appearance. In this close up, the bleaching is evident. Interestingly, the reason for the camouflage pattern is frequently debated. Among individuals who have studied chilling injury, it is hypothesized that pockets of cold air settle differentially into lower areas or down into the canopy where temperatures are much cooler and the likelihood of damage is greater. Although chilling injury is often associated with Bermuda grass, it does occur on other warm season turf grasses. In this case, chilling injury has occurred on this Kikuya grass turf. In the previous chilling injury photograph, symptoms appeared in a short period of time. Chilling symptoms in this case appear more uniform and the turf color often appears in shades of blue, purple, or red due to the slow degradation of chlorophyll and the expression of other plant pigments and carotenoids. This Bermuda grass green is beginning to go off color due to the cooler temperatures. This fairway is showing chilling symptoms too. The bluish tint is due to the expression of pigments like anthocyanin due to the degradation of chlorophyll in the leaf. Here chilling has occurred to an ultra dwarf Bermuda grass green in South Florida. The characteristic off color of chilling is apparent to the left of the person in the photograph. To the right the green has been treated with a dye or painted to mask the symptoms. Sometimes chilling injury is misdiagnosed for other problems like a disease like leaf spot. Here we are looking at a centipede grass lawn around the 1st of November in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Notice the off-color spots or areas. Upon closer examination, chilling injury has occurred. In this case, the degradation of the chlorophyll resulted in the expression of the carotenoid or the red pigment in the leaf. A closer look at this shoot reveals the chilling injury on the older or top portion of the leaf. The bottom or younger portion of the leaf is not showing chilling symptoms. In this case, a brief chilling period caused injury to the leaf, but subsequent warming temperatures resulted in new growth. Thus, this plant is growing out of the injury. The importance of sunny or high light intensity condition in causing injury is in a small way demonstrated in this photograph and the following. Notice the injured centipede grass shoot characterized by the red leaf. Now notice the leaf where the pen is pointing to. 
This leaf is covering a portion of the injured leaf. Now pulling the overlap leaf away from the injured leaf reveals an area of green tissue. The overlap leaf protected the small portion of the injured leaf from the high light intensities needed with cool temperatures to cause chlorophyll degradation or chilling injury. This is a Bermuda grass athletic field in Tehran, Iran. These pictures were sent to me by the club manager asking why the field was off color. The off color purplish look of the field is due to chilling. I found the second photograph that was sent quite interesting. It shows the effect of high light intensity. Notice the Bermuda grass growing under the table is green and growing and has not suffered injury like the field. The reason is the high light intensity that contributed to the chilling injury on the field was blocked or the turf shaded here. Thus the second important component of, in causing chilling injury, high light intensity, was lacking. In conclusion, chilling injury is caused by a combination of cool temperatures and light intensity. Variability in these two factors can cause a variety of chilling symptoms. This is a higher cup Bermuda grass turf showing chilling injury. This concludes this presentation.